right, so for my study abroad, for my ILE, I studied abroad in France, specifically um, Strasbourg. This is a picture of me in Lyon. It was very beautiful and rainy, and I got to, to pose with the red umbrella. It was very scenic and fun. Um, so Strasbourg is in the northeastern part of France, right by the border of Germany. It was like actually a 15 minute bus ride just to, just across the border, which was a lot of fun. You got to go to Germany a lot. Um, I lived in, I didn't live in the city. I lived in a little neighborhood right outside of the city. Um, this is the view from my bedroom window. I got to wake up to this every morning, which was very lovely. It was a beautiful neighborhood. Um, my walk to school, I would walk to school every day, um, and I got to walk through um, this park right by, which was like right next to my house. It, um, it was called Le Parc de l'Orangerie. Um, it was, fun fact, it was made in 1804 as a gift for Napoleon's wife, and it was full of orange trees, so that's why it's called that. Um, so yeah. This was the biggest thing in the city, the, uh, the Cathedrale de Strasbourg. It was the tallest building. I used it as my like compass the entire time I was there. It was really helpful. It's a really beautiful building, really tall, really big. They have the biggest like mechanical clock that was their like claim to fame there. It was really interesting. So while I was there, I studied at the University of Strasbourg, um, and I took seven classes there. I took a culture class where we talked about the history of France and the political system, healthcare system, all of that, as well as um, popular culture and what is seen, what was seen like in the media. Um, also took a grammar class just to like strengthen strengthen all that up, all my conjugations and whatnot, which was which was helpful. Um, I took two film courses, an intro to film class and a French documentary film class. Uh, a blog course, which was just blogging about my, my experience, so that was a lot of fun. And um, a semantics class, which helped with my pronunciation, and a French and English translation class. While I was there, I ate a lot of food. This was definitely my favorite part of being there. Um, the amount of chocolate-covered waffles I ate is crazy, but worth it, because it was incredible. Um, so this girl on the top right is Elspeth Sparrow. She went to this school. She studied abroad in the same program as me. Um, and we took a lot of the same classes together. We would go to this place called Au Brasser and we would eat these tart flambe flambés after class. It was really, really, really like that. had a great happy hour. Um, so my program that I studied abroad with was um, a group of like six other people. Um, most of them were from California. Um, and we went on a lot of like group trips together. One of the, so this was, we got to go hiking in the Vosges Mountains, which was I was not looking forward to it. I really don't like to go hiking um, at all, but I was surprisingly really into it, which was fun. It opened up a new, a new thing for me. So I got to, got to enjoy that. that. Um, we also got to visit a Buddhist monastery and a little town that was like built into the mountains. It was really cool. Like these ones weren't, people weren't living in these anymore because they were like really structurally unsound, but they were really pretty. Um, another trip we went on was to a vineyard in um, the region that um, Strasbourg is in. Strasbourg is in the um, region called Alsace. So and Alsatian wine is a very particular type of wine. Um, it's a, it's an area that um, traded, it was like French territory and German territory and it like bounced back between them a lot. So the German influence in that area was really, really heavy and actually kind of, it made, it, it made speaking difficult. Um, the, the Alsatian accent was 
really difficult, especially being taught by Professor Trout, who, who was not from there. Um, this picture in the top right is also another thing we got to do in the city. We got to take cooking classes. That's, the, um, that's me standing next to the wife of the program director. And we made, we made a raw salmon salad. So while I was there, I got to um, travel around a lot. Um, I got to, so two of my friends were also from here. We're also studying abroad at the same time in Scotland, um, Macy and Mihaela. I got to visit them in Glasgow, which was an experience, not at all what I thought it was going to be. Um, it was just, it rained the entire time. Like, this was like, these two pictures were from the same day. This was the only day it was sunny. and then. It would randomly start snowing, randomly start raining. It was really shitty weather, but you know, it was great to see them, and I got to explore a whole other culture, so definitely worth it. I enjoyed it. Um, I also got to go to Amsterdam, which was amazing. It was an incredibly beautiful city. I got to go to the um, Anne Frank House and the Van Gogh Museum, which was very eye-opening. The lines were crazy. That city is packed with people and there's so many tourists and it was kind of, kind of took away from the experience because I spent more time in line than I did in the actual museum um, and in the houses and whatnot, but, but definitely, definitely important to see and to understand. Um, this, oh my god, this was my favorite part. So I stayed at this amazing bed and breakfast and usually there were other people there but this was the one day that I was the only guest, and I got to eat all this food by myself. It was amazing. Um, so one, one of the best parts was that my family got to come. I turned 21 when I was in France, um, so they came to, to celebrate that with me, my parents and my sister. Um, I took them to my favorite, like, boulangerie, which is just like a coffee shop. Um, this was a chain called Paul, which actually just broke into the United States, which I'm very happy about because I spent a lot of time and money there, and I'm happy that I can continue to do that. Um, while we, so we spent a few days in, they stayed in the same area as I did in Strasbourg for three days, and then we went to the south of France, um, Provence. This was an aqueduct that we went to visit um, I had no idea what an aqueduct was um, before this, and my mom was like super hyped about it. So we got to go and walk on it and learn all about that, which was really interesting. The picture on the right is a um, during a flea market in the city, um, or not the city, it was like a really tiny town. Um, but just a beautiful picture. I definitely wanted to like throw a lot of that all over the place, but to take a picture instead to control myself. Um, one really fun part of the trip was we got to go to the hotel, hotel, that is not the right word, hospital that Van Gogh stayed at. Um, he obviously had a very complicated life um, and, and worked on some very influential um, art pieces that were all inspired by the south of France. So getting to actually see in person what he was painting was, was really amazing. Um, and the building was beautiful. It's not at all what I would have expected from, from a hospital, but very into it. Um, this was one of my favorite parts. My birthday present was um, getting to stay at this chateau in Aix-en-Provence. And I got to lounge out here and, and drink wine all day. And it was, it was really incredible. That was the backyard. This was the front entrance. It was really green and surrounded by trees because the whole, the whole area of Axon Provence became super like full of stores and like clothing retail shops. So they, they had to like block it all out with a bunch of trees. But it was nice. We didn't, get, we didn't have to look at all that. Um, after that, we went to Paris. Um, so I went, we went to the Eiffel Tower and the Notre Dame, which were also very, very uh, packed with people and 
hard to be in. Paris was full, of, it was so overwhelming because there's always so many people around you that got kind of annoying. Um, but definitely beautiful landmarks that are very historically or into the to the city and to the country of France. That was really interesting to, to get to see in person. Um, so this so my friend on the right, that's my friend Jordan Tucker. She was studying abroad in Spain at the time and came for my birthday. She spent a few days with us. Um, so it was really good to see her. That was a, a fun surprise and um, random story that somehow connects France to the semester. Um, we went to the Shakespeare and Company bookstore, which is, I didn't realize that it was such a like iconic thing in Paris. Um, but that's my sister standing in front of it. And I bought the book The Shining there because, you know, Stephen King is really big. And I was like, hey, maybe I should read something. Um, so I bought that, and that ended up being a textbook that I needed for, not a textbook, required reading. I needed for a class this semester. So it was a fun little surprise. I got to put that to work. And yeah, that was my study by experience. Any questions? Thanks, David. Thank you.